Hi, this is Joshua. I'm the creator of the simple software licensing solution for .NET and thank you for your interest in my product. I'm going to run a very brief demo of using this in a software application. The steps I'm going to demonstrate are downloading and installing the components, creating a product, validating a license from your own code and finally actually issuing a license and entering it into your program. So this is the simple software licensing site. We're going to download and install the components. There are two options. We have a 32-bit and a 64-bit uh, installer package. I'm running on Windows 7 32-bit for the demo. Click on the link. We get my Internet Explorer's regular warnings. We save the installer file. And we can now access that from the downloads folder on my computer. Just double click on the MSI package um, and run the installer. I'm running this as a standard user so this is not an admin account and um, I'll get a few, I'll get one pop-up uh, where I need to shift to administrator privileges while I'm doing the installation. So we enter our password, and the installation continues. The whole product's been installed now. Shut these windows down. OK, so now the, the program's been installed. Go into the Start menu. We have a shortcut to directly open the License Manager. We also have a new folder in the Start menu where we have um, a help file and uh, code sample directory. I'm going to start the license manager and get something set up. And the first step, as we can see, we the features have been disabled. We can't create new products. We have no license. So the first step is to activate a trial. Go into the About menu, enter Product License, and click on Activate 7-Day Trial. So now we're, we're up and running. We have seven days to evaluate the product. If you require longer evaluation, you can also sign up for a 30-day trial license online. Our first step is to create a product. So we click on New Product and type the name of the application that we are developing. We then need to enter which it, what editions and what versions we want to be able to issue licenses for. So I'm going to create a pro edition and do licenses for one dot star. So all one dot anything versions and upwards. Added those two and save our product. The new product immediately appears in the user interface. So I'm going to start Visual Studio, create a new project. I'm going to do this demo project using Visual Basic and just create a regular Windows form application. Demo application and create it. So now we're up and running in Visual Studio. So I'm going to drag in a button, position that so we can actually see it, and then say give it a net, uh, give it a text pro feature feature and a name. Let's see where it's. Uh -huh. Sorry, button pro. Yeah, so that's our that's our application. Place the pro feature in the middle of the uh, of our form, and um, our application create an event handler for the button, and 
our feature is going to be showing a message box. Let me just say pro feature exclamation mark. We can run our application now, F5, and just see that everything's working the way it should. Yay! So now we have a working application. We have no licensing controls at all at the moment. So the first step I want to do is add references to the uh, licensing components. I'm going to add them by browsing to program files. We have the Habanero folder here, Habanero License Manager, and it's the shared component and validation component we need to lift into our reference from our application. Right, so we've um, added references to the validation components, but our application doesn't check them at the moment. So we want to integrate the license validation with our application. In the license manager, we have a little bit of code to get us started. So I click on the show code button. You can choose between C Sharp and VB.NET. So I'm going to grab the VB code, copy it to the clipboard, and switch back into my own application. I'm going to paste the code that, that's been generated at the top of my form. Um, and you can see that things there are missing references. Um, I have ReSharper, which will help me find these, but they are the um, uh, types that exist in the validation library. So you need to add import statements at the top of your code for these types. What's being pasted now is uh, a simple setup using setting up an application secret, a public key for validation, and a few other boilerplate um, methods that we can use in the rest of our code. And I also need to change the location of our license file which is up here in the validator section. So you can see it says path to license file. This is what we need to change. I'm going to place my licenses in my documents, demo application. So we get environment, environment, get folder path. It's a special folder which we need to import as well. Special folder my documents. I don't want to put it directly into my documents. I'm going to create a user subdirectory. I'm going to combine two paths for my subdirectory and my documents. And my subject is going to be called demo application. And I'm actually also going to put the license file in here directly. So we call it license.lic. So now we've changed the license location. We'll leave all the other values intact as they are. So now that we've modified the path to the valid for the validator component, uh, I'm going to use it in the form load event of this uh, application. I'm just going to create a variable validation result and set it to the validators check license result. And then if the validation result is invalid then disable the button. And if it's not invalid, then I'm just going to make sure that it is enabled. 
that's just a simple check when we start the program to see if our, our license is valid or not. We run our application now. We immediately are disabled because we haven't even entered a license yet. So we're automatically invalid. So go back to the license manager, we'll close our code window, switch to the licenses view, and on the left hand side here we create new licenses. So we select Pro Edition version 1.star. This is for test user. I'll just issue the license. So we've got the license now in our list of existing licenses. I'll select that license and select uh, save it to file. We go into documents, demo application. We already have the license.lit file there, which was created when the license validator ran once. And I'll just overwrite that. Okay. Now I'll run my program again. And you'll see that the pro feature is now enabled. And that's how easy it is to install, configure, and start using the simple software licensing solution for .NET in less than about 15 minutes. Thanks for listening, and I'll speak to you soon.